Okay, so here we are at Voco in Auckland. The Voco Hotel is part of the IHG group of hotels. It's actually one of the newer hotels in central Auckland. It's right in the city centre. It's actually just off Queen Street. Queen Street's like the main shopping street in the city. So there's great access to everything, the harbour, shopping, restaurants. So Voco is a really good central place to stay when you're in Auckland. Okay, so we just checked into Voco in Auckland. And this is our room on the 35th floor. Massive bed. Nice little couch and table set up here. TV, complimentary water. She said she put us in a room with a view, so let's have a look out here. Bit of Auckland Harbour going on. Construction site. <laughs> ANZ. Looks really nice though, this room. Uh, what do you think? It does, it's really nice. Okay, let's have a look at the bathroom. It's got like a Japanese sliding door. Toilet down here, shower up here, room to hang our clothes, put our suitcases, mm -hmm. so very nice. What's the bed like? Comfy? Oh, very nice. Be able to lay back here tonight, watch some TV. Get off my side of the bed. <laughs> so in the little cabinet, we've got a fridge, oh, stocked up, minibar action, and in this one, <laughs> we've got a safe, so what's in here? Oh, look out, got some chips, chocolates, wine glass, tea, coffee, kettle, so all that you'd expect at a really good hotel. Just a bit of a look at the uh, minibar costs here. So five dollars for Coke, that's not too bad. Red Bull eight dollars, beer fourteen dollars, vodka and gin ready to drink twenty four dollars. So that was pretty pricey, but what you get if you drink out of the minibar. One thing I will tell you though is if you park your car here, uh, it's very very expensive. So to park here was 69 New Zealand dollars a night. So for two nights cost $140 or about $130 Australian for parking. Uh, and if you didn't valet park, like you could find a park yourself, but it was only $10 cheaper. So it was pretty much just as convenient to pay the extra $10 a night, get them to take our car, park it securely and bring it back to the front of the hotel when we check out. Okay, now that we've figured out how to turn the lights on in here, uh, one thing I like about staying in good quality hotels is the good quality Bathroom condiments, as I would call them. Toiletries. <laughs> or toiletries, so you get good quality products and they make you smell really nice. So because Mark had a boy's look when we first checked in and said we had a nice view of a building site, we also actually do have a view of the Sky Tower as well. That's what happens when you open up both sets of the blinds. The mozzarella restaurant here is where they serve breakfast, but you can also get drinks during the day. So in the bar there's a sort of outdoor section, open air section, where you can sit, like out there. Inside there's plenty of seating in this stylish little area. Looks like there's some exclusive whiskies that you can try here. Staff are ultra friendly. Making plenty of cocktails as you come over this way. To the window. So this is the roof bar on the 38th floor here at Voco, uh, pretty popular. Really popular for its amazing views. Okay, so we just ordered a cheese platter. Looks like you get three different types of cheese, some crackers, some nuts, some quince, jam. 
few grapes to wash down, so looks quite nice. We're gonna tuck into this with a couple of drinks. Hey, does the Voco in Auckland not have the most scenic toilet in the world? Check this out. Breakfast time at Voco. Starting the day here at Voco with a breakfast. Just got our first course, which is some fruit, some cereal. We'll go back for some of our hot treats, the sausages, bacon, eggs, mushrooms, and more. So one of my favorite things when you're on holidays is to have a nice breakfast. I think it fills you up for the entire day and you don't spend so much money on food. Um, the one here at Voco is lovely. I've got poached eggs with uh, toast, mushrooms, some nice croissants, uh, pastries, and some fresh fruit. So Mark had a little bit of um, cereal as well. So it fills you up for the day and gets you going. It's one, one of the best that we've had, but um, it's good. One interesting thing about Voco, or especially a quality hotel like this, is that they have a guest laundry. The guest laundry even has some washing powder here. I don't know if that was theirs or just left, but it's a couple of washers, a couple of dryers. So if you're staying here for more than a few days, you can certainly uh, wash your clothes and be clean and ready to go out. Okay, like all good hotels, there's a fitness room here. So a few treadmills, some weights, towels, all that you need if you want to stay healthy while you're staying at Voco. The realities of checkout day, no matter what type of hotel you're staying at, is stuff everywhere as we get our bags ready to check out of Voco here in Auckland. Got to say, really enjoyed our stay here. It's been fantastic. 